Oh, we don't... We haven't built a leather worker, though. Is that true? Yeah, it looks like we haven't built a leather worker. Okay, so we should probably do that. That was a bit of an oversight. Probably should have built that sooner. Actually, maybe we want to put it over here next to the... Put it in our industrial hub. We are... We have bricks and we have fabric, so we should be able to build that. Stonecutter's camp has no deposits nearby. Storm's almost out, so we can reflag this. Okay, we would not have been safe as it immediately collapsed. Okay, so let's see. The notifications are delayed. Okay, so forced sacrifice. Temple demands an offering. Destroys all trade goods in the warehouse. Packs of goods, amber, and ancient tablets. So that's going to happen no matter what. And we either use tools, of which we have plenty of tools. Only if you don't complete the event in time. Okay, and we it only takes two minutes and we have 11 minutes. Uh, we could use some of, our, uh, some of our packs of trade goods. But those are pretty precious. We get three tablets, archaeological tools. Glades are examined more carefully. Gain 20 pottery every time you discover a new glade. Ooh. I think I think that pottery is worth uh is worth it. I think we praise the sun. Yeah, we praise the sun. I think we use a pack of trade goods. Uh we could also use one wildfire essence. These are, these are used to make the hearths. All right, so let's do that. And then I need to find two people to work on this. This, uh, we'll put two lizards on it. I think this is a more replenishable resource, especially once we get pots. And we, oh, we only need two for the hearth? Okay, cool. All right, let's get that, let's get that cooking immediately. And then we have this as well. Uh, where we can pick up two humans and two lizards. Zorg has arrived. Zorg, show me some pottery. I will buy all your pottery. We could buy some ale too, but I don't think we need to. We don't have a lot. To, oh, we have a ton of meat. Okay, so we want to get this up to 15 cost, or we want to take it down to exactly 14 point something. All right, so we want to go just over. So like 14.21. So I buy one less pot. Well, let's just, let's just buy a little bit of something else. There we go. Okay, there we go. So we get lots of pot. We get lots of pottery. That's gonna that's gonna accelerate things for us, because that means that now the brewery. Where's the brewery? Where is the brewery? The brewery can start making uh, ale and pickled goods, which is gonna be amazing for us on both fronts. Then, if I can find two people to spare. We can just give these people roots and we can get... I think we want to get people. The amber doesn't feel like the worst thing in the world, but I think that's okay. I don't think we need this many bartenders right now. 
So I'll do that and put them in there. All right. I have a cornerstone available. Thank you. Let's see. Uh, Amulet of Flames. Ooh. Make, we like making woodcutters less hostil hostility-inducing, especially since we're just about to take over to two, it looks like. That'll buy us some time. Uh, shady but lucrative deal. Gain 10 amber every time a villager dies or leaves. Blood, blood price contract seems like it could be interesting, but I think we just want minus, uh, minus hostility from woodcutters. So I'll grab that. Buys us a little bit of time. I mean, I could see some very interesting builds around Blood Pack, for sure. Let's see, is there any... I don't think there's anything else we want to sell or anything like that. Scouts are idle at large encampment. Oh. Ooh, there we go. Okay, this is, this is extremely done. Don't have to worry too much about it. What is that icon right there? Why does my beaver have a, a hawk over their head? Global effect. Plus one resolve. Motivated. Okay. Alright, this lumberjack thing should be like that. Oh yeah, and then I can use arrows to switch between them. This one's currently not getting utilized. Uh, do we have homeless? No homeless. We will soon, though. So I think... Tucking another house in here doesn't seem like the worst idea in the world. Oh, we got newcomers already. Okay. Six beavers? Holy beavers. Insects we don't really need. I think we can take six beavers, though. Seemed right up my alley. Let's see, that, that allows me to... Okay, the trapper's camp can move. Oh, we got a big stone deposit here. Where did I put my, my stone duder? Can I move it over to this thing now? Oh, yeah. We love that. All right. This is almost done. We'll get two humans now. We are... Oh, we have a lot of homeless, though. So let's... We're building a house there. I can make a row of homes here, I think. We're going to need... Ah, uh, we're only going to need two. I'll leave it. Yeah, there are two more large stones, but I figure I might I may build a warehouse in here. And once we do that, then that will be uh that'll be the play. But I we we don't get better yield from that, right? Especially since we can do that. Get the bar keeps going. Where else do we not have people? The bakery we can't do much with. Ah yes, we did build the leather worker. Wait, wasn't the leather worker? I want water skins desperately. Uh, fabric and pigment. At the moment, we don't need those. Was I still producing fabric at this? I was, but we're not doing that anymore. So, okay. So, fabric. All right, water skins. Yeah, we don't need to use oil for that. We can use meat and leather to make those. Need more glades open? All right. Uh, should we do another hostel? I, I feel like we're... We're... we're We should settle things a little bit. 
but maybe not. One more is good. All right. Well, uh... Yeah, we'll do that during clearance. Okay, this one, this one's already sorted. Yeah, so so this being next to two doesn't do it any better, right? How many people do we are we floating? We're floating a lot of people right now. Uh, Thirty amber feels pretty good. We do have a lot of stone though. We get thirty copper, plus two pottery production. Gain two pottery every yield. That doesn't help us much because there's no clay here. We would get a bunch of leather though, and a bunch of ale. We have seventeen. Let's just get some money. We'll have. Two species are ecstatic. We are winning. Yeah, it's feeling good. This, I feel like, this just solves so many problems. Yeah, let's let's do this. We'll get we'll get that one going. Let's make sure we're getting housing done. We have a little bit of housing headroom. There we go. So the next time we recruit people, we'll be okay. Now, why, why are beavers unhappy, and is there anything we can do about it? So luxury, we would get if the tavern had booze, right? Which at the moment, we are producing ale. So that may happen soon, maybe? The Queen's Impatience is, is a little higher on this run than in our previous ones. I suspect we have a ton of flour floating around. Uh, now, packs of trade goods. Remind me... We are producing them. Though you're idling right now because you don't have... We can put pottery on the list here. Let's get to six. Okay. Probably can make another hearth and put a lizard in there for plus one resolve. Oh. So, okay, so what, let's figure out what we got going on down here. So we could burn it down. We get some pottery and some whatever. Uh, when your villagers' needs are met, harmony, global... Okay, this one seems like the good one. Uh-oh. But we have none of these things. We have 12 minutes to figure this out. Which of these things can we currently get? Forester's Hut. Druid's Hut. Cooperage. Lumber Mill. Okay, so we have a lumber mill. Let's come over here to our lumber mill. Let's get some scrolls going. We need wine or pigment. So we can't we can't do it that way. So we're gonna have to burn it down. All right, so we're gonna have to wait and see. So uh, we could call immediately, right? Do, impatience probably isn't in any danger right now, right? So maybe we call. She's gonna she is willing to buy packs of good foods, raw, blah blah blah. Uh, food, basic resources, building, some crafting materials, small number of basic blueprints. All right, we'll call immediately just to see if we get it. And then if not, we can burn that sucker down. We also got more farmland. Uh, our third farm can come online. Let's see, 11 seconds left. We only need to do one for the order, but. Okay, big money, no whammies. None of these seem, things seem like the thing that we need. In fact, all of these things seem like not the things that we need. I'll buy the leather just so that we have it. I 
Actually, I don't need that. I'll buy the bricks, though. We get the third one. Get more amber for orders. Okay, I can I can take this down a peg. Let's get ten bricks. I'll keep the leather. There we go. Okay. Okay, that gets us the amber for the order. Um, twenty-four point five. I, I I'm gonna figure it out eventually in Lustrous. Uh, that the the way that I thought I did it right that time, but it appears that I did not. All right, so we got the eight amber for this. We just need one more trade good. What are we What are we getting for the trade connections quest? Nothing. Nothing that helps us. So the question is, do we have Do we have any way to get this? To get any of these? So we have the ability to make pigment, right? I think we got. That was like a weird thing at like the brewery or something like that. Yeah, we can make pigment here. We have insects. So maybe we... Maybe we make some pigment. And then we can use the pigment to make scrolls. Yeah, I don't know. But we'll try. So let's see. So let's uh, amp the pigment up. So both of them should start making pigment. And then package of trade goods. As soon as they can make it, we'll make it. Yep, we're, we're fully ecstatic at the moment. Why are they making leather right now? I specifically asked them to make pigment. How much pigment do we need? We need three. Okay. Yep. Everybody's jazzed. Everybody's chuffed. Okay, there we go. Now we're making the pigment that we need. How much time do we have? 11? And we need 330. Okay. It's gonna be I think it's gonna be tight. Uh, we did finish trade connection. We so get two more people here. Which seems to have also kicked our humans out of being uh, in ecstasy, but Oh, this ink takes forever to manufacture, doesn't it? We may we may not be able to get it done. How long does it take to burn the the sucker down? 330? Okay. Disable luxury pack production. Oh, because it's consuming it's consuming a resource that we need. Understood. Disable everything so that after we get that done, we don't need to make more. You guys are taking forever. Okay. Ecstasy no more. Ecstasy be gone. Oh, we had to go up a blueprint. Oh, we got a mill. That'll allow us to get flour going. The provisioner also makes flour and it makes barrels. Ah, uh, so this is an interesting one. I think that even though flour production would be awesome from the rain mill because we have that pie 
thing. The fact that we can get flour and barrels here is better because barrels means we have a wood option. You get 20 pots for a glade. Yeah, use two per recipe. So you think that that's you think that's enough? So you think the rain mill is better because we get the the uber flower production? Okay. I just feel like there are other things we're going to want to use leather for and opening up barrels with with wood. This just seems much more sustainable. Wood and copper. Oh, yeah, it is wood and copper. That's okay. That's the that's the selling point. Did I take the right one? Yeah, okay. I did. All right, so we'll put that there. All right, show me ink production. How are we doing over here? So I have 10, 13. All right, we're entering, we're entering the sad times. We have a lot of fuel. I could, so this is the appropriate moment where I would do, where I would do like that, right? To kind of try and counterbalance the effects of the storm. Okay, give me ink. Give me ink. Deliver me some ink, please. Uh, not really, unless you want to open glades. You can hit the magnifying glass to view the recipes before picking the blueprint. Good, good tip, Brian. Good tip. Okay, make some damn scrolls. working on all right you're working on this let's move you over here and start you clearing some of this could also think about making another farm so there's no way for us to get the 100 percent of the farmland we can do this if we just destroy this one tile I think that was that's the optimal way to do that. Just make two farms. Is that better? Always one farm won't be able to clear it. Okay, so we're gonna do this. We know we have the we know we have the scrolls now, right? They are Oh, maybe I shouldn't have committed to that. I I guess I didn't realize how long they were gonna take. But with eight minutes left, I think we're gonna be able to do it. Hopefully. Okay, and since we, we aren't opening glades, this was a bit of a waste. Yeah. Okay. And then we have extra people. How many? We have 18 of those, 30 in a resolve. We also, we don't have any clothing. So we could get clothing pots in this. This is a nice payday. Ah, uh, we, we've been a little shy on Amber. Let's do this. One farm can plant and plow, but harvesting takes a while due to the logistics of transporting as the farms fill. Okay, noted. Okay, and then over here, we have a new way to make scrolls, but we're gonna be we're gonna be done with scrolls after this one. So mainly we wanted flour to be our priority. We do this, this, okay, and then we can put a dwarf in there. And once we get a human out, we can slap them in there too. We have orders available. Thank you. Objective. Have at least 14 villagers with the leisure fulfilled for 30 seconds. I think we can definitely do this now that we have ale production. Or luxury goods seems expensive. So I'm gonna do that. I think that's a that's a gimme. And then over here, 
Cut through th through the forest to three glades. Uh, complete one dangerous or forbidden glade event. We're probably going to do that. We may finish before we do that, though. Plus one grain production. Additional grain yield from gathering farms. Okay, I think we do that. Yeah, I'll grab, I'll grab this one. We gain some ale from it. I think that's fine. Okay, lumber mill, how are we doing? We just finished our scrolls. Okay, fantastic. Which means that this should get, this should get worked on soon. We have plenty of headroom. Everyone's chuffed to be here. We're working on this. I need to find two humans, though. Let's... I don't know what the disadvantage of having less barkeeps is, but let's do that. We'll win before we get those packs. Yeah. We're, we're cruising at the moment. Something just dinged. I have a new cornerstone. An odd talisman. Gain two wildfire essence for every two completed dangerous gales, except cloned ones, or 40 meat and 40 grain for each completed one. Okay, we'll do lost supplies, but neither of these seem great. We lost three resolve on everyone by removing bar keeps. Well, we just gained them back. Good, good call. But they just didn't have to be humans. I, I'm a little strapped for human labor at the moment. And I want to make sure my farms are operating at peak efficiency. I'd like my rain mill to have some humans as well, but... Okay, this is indeed... Why is this not working? We, we finished the scrolls. The scrolls are done. We're almost done with a second set of scrolls. Needs amber? Oh no. We don't have an easy way to get amber right now, do we? I can call immediately. I think I gotta call immediately to get amber. Where'd all my amber go? Yeah, good, good call. Mine has no available ore, so we can move this. So I was told I could move the mine. I don't think I can move the mine. Yeah, I can't move mines. So I'm not sure what's up with that. Just deconstruct it and get your resources back. The mine. Always, always tricky to find. Okay. All right. Uh, Zorg has arrived. Okay, so we just need, we just need amber. Do we need trade goods for anything anymore? We do need trade goods still. We have a lot of copper ore. Ooh, isn't worth much. Only thing is once you unlock upgrades, you don't get the resources spent on building upgrades. Okay, so we haven't seen upgrades yet. So herbs, I don't think we're using herbs for much. What a, are you gonna, are you gonna auto me four? Nope. All right, I need, if I do one of these maybe. So this is the weird thing is, so now like I reduce mine until, until it goes red and that's a, that's a good, I guess that's a good trade. All right, let's do that. I just want to get this started. This, this should be, we should now have that amber. The amber should disappear. We don't have much else to sell. So right now we're, 
we're surprisingly strapped. I, I think we're going to win based on just people being happy, but let's see. Clearance is, is not that long away. We're still, we're still clearing everything down here. Please show me 505 Amber. Okay. We did it. We don't need that many parts. Okay. Parts seem hard, hard to recoup. No homeless at the moment. The, the lizards are good because we have been producing pickled goods. I'd like to produce a pie before we are done here. We are, we're currently producing pies. Except we have no one working here. Lizards really like to work here. Can we can we find a place to get okay, leather work? We don't need more pigment anymore. We would like fabric. I'll get a blueprint too. Temple, human house, beaver house. So the houses we know are extra good right now. But both of them are good. Uh Religion and education, sacrament of the flame, a place where villagers can fulfill their needs. This feels like it would be... I'm pretty sure if you turn in the order, you win in the next minute or so. Yes, uh, I'm gonna grab a temple though. Okay, so we come over here. Uh, let's see, I will take, I'll take more. I was saying I need more raptors, so let's get more raptors. Uh, we can do that, and that, and then the bakery. Let's let's get the bakery up and running. There we go. We don't need humans in the stonecutters camp. We don't we don't need anyone in the stonecutters camp if I'm being. 100%. But we can put some of these these in here. Then in the tavern. Let's get humans back up and operating that. And then... Do we have an order to turn in? We do. All right. Big money. So maybe we can, maybe just maybe we can barely build a temple before, uh, before we're done. No, we don't have enough, we don't have enough material. Uh, I don't know where we're supposed to be getting that material from right now. From fabric? From leather? So two, this is a two-star recipe, so that's fine, I think. Okay, there we go. But yeah, I think we're going to be winning pretty soon. If you build it as plus two resolve, that was my suspicion. Okay, we are building a little bit of vegetable. Okay, are you... You are indeed going to get finished. You guys are working on this. All right. Oh. Get ourselves a blueprint for a... Uses nearby farm fields to produce berries and plant fiber. Yeah, I think I think we just we just roll over. Uh, of these, probably the brickyard is the one that we take, but it's like pretty nominal. Everybody's happy. We're doing the thing. What uh, what is this built? Oh, this is a workstation. Got it. Uh, and then I don't think. I don't think our leather worker is going to produce... Oh, you guys are still doing that. If I do that, do I cancel your operations so that you re with something actually valuable? All right. It's a win. We did the thing. All right, so... The deeds we completed is orders from the queen. Complete 10 orders. Uh, don't... Don't let the queen's impatience grow above six in a single game. Uh, win a game on the marshlands. Win a game with at least 40 villagers. Win a game with one dangerous glade event still active. Uh, win a game with zero villagers dying. And finish your first game after the tutorial. All right. We are now level two. Uh, back to the world map we go. 
It, it does have Warcraft 3 vibes in a big way, and, and it, I like it. It's nice. Oh, so we have Fog Marsh. Is this, is this the one that we were just playing? Because that looks like the tile I just picked. Uh, maybe not, though. Oh, and there's something down here, too. Some ruins. Go to the city. This is the city. Okay. Okay, so let's see. So we can... So we have 12 deeds, and we can buy upgrades. So with upgrades, we have 42 bread. So we can... We can get this... But then we, these are all locked behind level three. Zoom out on the map. Okay, I'll do that afterwards. So I don't think we can pick anything else up here. We've got all of the unlocks. We're going to be storing bread. But then for deeds, so what is this? Uh, so finish your first game. So we click to complete. Uh, okay, so this is your own little corner, a place where you can rest and collect trophies. Okay. So the Viceroy's quarters have been unlocked. Oh, we're going to get some level ups here. Oh, boy. Whoa. Okay, so new Citadel upgrades. Uh, scribe. Cellar. Cellar produces wine, pickled goods, jerky. The Scribe produces scrolls, ale, tools. Okay. We get paved roads. Uh, old Farloof. You might have metal, fuel, or tools. Okay, new trader. Got it. Uh, we got a cornerstone. And we got a cornerstone around trade logs. Detailed notes. Okay. Cool. So now we can go back to upgrades. Because now... Whoops. Let's see. So what, what do we have on offer at level 3 here? We have... Villager speed increase. Uh, you gain one embarkation points to spend on resources and bonuses before starting a new settlement. Uh, we have 32, so we get to get... We're only going to be able to get two of these. Sound? Let's see. So uh, you gain a permanent one. Consumption control is important. Which one is that? This one here. Okay. So we'll get this one for sure. And then additional cornerstone choices. Seems like it would be quite good as well. I think I'll, I think I'll grab that one. Ah, okay. So it's an order not to be able to use things. Let's go to deeds. We'll get some more of these. Okay, just XP for that one. Just XP for that one. Just XP for that one. Okay, so we got ourselves a guild house, luxury. A clan hall, brawling in religion. Distillery. Didn't we already have a distillery? I guess that was part of the tutorial. Filling dishes. Porridge production increased by one. Okay, so we got some new cornerstones. We'll see those as we kind of play through. Guild house is OP. Good to know. Oh. Marsh glow fungite. An invasive species. Nice. New aesthetic. Okay, it doesn't look like we're... Unless this one was a big one. Nope, we're going to be a little short of going any further. Uh, and then I don't think we're going to track any of these. Maybe we'll track once we get a little further in. Uh, and then upgrades wise, we have access to some more, but we need to start getting gears for these. Yeah, so we're going to have to wait on those. Then we have our home. Uh, you're about to meet Aunt Lori. What is your relationship to her? Uh, this is a setting that can always be changed. I am her nephew. Aunt Lori, the Queen's Hand. As soon as you step into your new home, you notice a richly clothed woman standing by the window. Her gaze is fixed on the Citadel. Hey, Auntie. Well, isn't this a nice-looking house? Back in my day, fresh voice viceroys would sleep on the floor with, in the Svar Tavern. Uh, how was your training? Uh, uh, not much of a challenge. I think we did okay. 
Uh, don't let your guard down, kiddo. The Outer Wilds are never uh, a safe place. The farther you travel from the Citadel and her presence, the tougher it gets. And I promise my sister I would look after you as I plan on keeping that promise. As a member of the Queen's Hand, there is much I can teach you, but the knowledge is of no value unless you put in the practice. Oh. Hey, Mr. Scrake. We're balling again. Uh, venture into uncharted territory. Okay. All right, so that's our home. Oh. Uh, let's see. I like the change of scenery, sure. Uh, usually new viceroys aren't so eager to move on, but that's good. You seem to be getting used to the new life quickly. Okay. So we got that. So we are... So we're good. Now, you said I should go and zoom out the bronze seal we have fog so fog marsh that's my plate that's my last playthrough is that true the big map yo you can always be getting those checks all right well i think I think that's going to do it for our day of the green seal is one of the goals of each cycle. Four seal fragments. Okay, so we're, we want to build towards those, presumably. Okay, so, so ideally we might want to go and do a second settlement like here or here. We could do a coral forest settlement and then kind of like wend our way over and we have to go over here too okay cool that'll be a oh and we do have one seal fragment what do these get used for at the end of every cycle reforge oh wait legend says that the seals can never be broken but these shards tell a different story okay interesting You, you only need to reach one. Okay, so we've already started moving in this direction, so we'll we'll keep pressing forward over here. And there's some type of question mark. 